Hey, it's Reese, and I've decided to try and build a CNC machine so that I can build kite boards and surfboards. Um, but the problem is, I have no idea how to build a CNC machine, so I'm just gonna wing it. All right, so based on the research I've done, um, I think these are all the components that I'll need. I've got a 24 volts power supply, which will power my motion controller, which is kind of like the motherboard kind of brains of the whole CNC machine. Now, this will tell the stepper motors what to do, and the stepper motors are these things, and these are the things that spin. They're kind of hard to spin right now. This motherboard cannot handle the amount of power that the motors require to move. So you need these stepper drivers in between the motion controller and the stepper motors. And these stepper drivers take the signal from the motion controller and they amplify it with 48 volts, which will come from this power supply. So this 48 volts comes into the stepper drivers and sends it to the motors. So it's basically, the purpose of these is to take the 48 volts, amplify the signal from the motion controller, and send it to the motors so that the motors actually spin, I think. Uh, I guess my first step is gonna be trying to fit all of my components inside of here, and then I'm going to wire it all up and see if I can spin the motors. And if I can spin the motors, I know it's gonna work, and that's good. On the inside, I have my 48 volt power supply here, my 24 volt power supply here, my stepper motor drivers here mount, these are my stepper motor drivers mounted on some aluminum heat sinks, and I've got my motion controller down in the corner. So now all that there's left to do is wire everything up. The goal is to have all of this stuff control these four motors. And that's it.
All right, so I've got everything wired up outside of the frame and I'm gonna plug it in now and see if it works. So over here, I have my start stop button, push buttons that will turn on the power supplies here and here. I have my emergency stop button here. All this is wired up. This is all the emergency stop system and the power coming from the wall going into the power supplies. And then I have all of my motor wirings here and my motion controller is connected with an ethernet cable going to my PC, which is back here. Over here, coming out of the motor drivers, I have all my motors just loosely connected just to see if I can make them spin. I've just left it all outside of the frame because I just wanna make sure it all works before I put it inside of the actual box and it's a lot harder to work on it when it's inside the box, obviously. So we'll just see if it works and then go from there. All right, so here's my control panel. I'm just gonna turn the machine on. First thing I have to do is plug it in to the wall. Okay, so it's plugged in, so I don't wanna touch any of the wires, otherwise I'll electrocute myself. And if I press the start switch, It should turn on my motion controller. As you can see, the lights are on. And you'll notice my 24 volt power supply is also on, but my 48 volt power supply is not on yet. And I have to turn that on by pushing this button. So now the 48 volt power supply is on and that also will turn on my Mo or my stepper motor drivers and then that means my motors are on and they can now turn and then I have my e-stop if I push this it turns off everything except for the motion controller so the motion controller will still be on but none of the motors can spin and the cool thing about the emergency stop is that when I turn it back on it doesn't turn the motors on again until I push this button. And on my PC, I have Mach 4, which is the software that will run my CNC machine. So this software tells my motion controller what to do, and then my motion controller tells the rest of the machine what to do. I'm gonna see if I can spin the motors now using the software. Okay, so I'm gonna move the Z-axis motor. I'm gonna move the x-axis motor and the two remaining motors are both going to be on the y-axis so they'll move together and it looks like everything works so that's awesome that's it for the electronics for now the next step is going to be finding a frame and building the frame for the CNC machine and that will be the, the parts that actually move around and cut stuff uh, this took me about two weeks to get to this point, to figure it all out and order all the parts and figure out what I was missing. But I think it's going to be pretty smooth sailing from here on. And yeah.